Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of year again, and after the year we've had, we all deserve a drink. So I've queued the Christmas music, and I'm going to show you how to make mulled wine. And first we want to pick our wine. You don't just want to go for anything, we've gone for a Merlot, because it's got a lot more fruity flavours, and good tannins. This all together, when warmed, is going to bring up some amazing flavours. So here we have 100 grams of sugar, then 2 bay leaves, 3 cardamom pods, about 12 juniper berries, 2 star anise, 2 whole cinnamon sticks, a whole nutmeg, about 4 cloves, 2 juggleable oranges, some vanilla extract, and the bottle of Merlot I've previously mentioned. So grab yourself a pan that's big enough for all these ingredients, and pour in the sugar. And then with the cardamom pods, just paste them with your nail and throw them in as well. This will release all the flavours. Then throw in the star anise, cloves, and juniper berries. When you can, can just, when you, ah, uh, come here. And then we're going to peel one of the oranges. Try and make sure you don't get too much of the white pliff underneath the skin. And, oh, no, in, into the pan. Yeah, thank you, there we go. Then just add a touch of vanilla extract. Then take it to the hob and put it on medium-low heat. This is where the secret is. We have to caramelize the sugar before we add the rest of the stuff. It gives an amazing flavor. We're going to slice up one whole orange and cut the other one that we've already zested in half. And then we're just going to watch the ingredients slowly come together on the stove. You don't want to stir it, you just want to slightly swivel the pan round just to get the caramelized sugar starting to work. But as you can see there, it's all starting to come together in a bubbly cauldron of fun. And then when you reach a slightly caramel color, you want to throw in the rest of your ingredients. So let's start with the wine. And just be sure to scrape up the extra sugar and stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan right now. Then throw in your cinnamon sticks and grate in some nutmeg. You've got to use freshly grated nutmeg, it's just the best. Then drop in your bay leaves, then throw in all the sliced oranges and squeeze out as much of the juice as you can from the other one. I'm not sure why we use a sieve, you can mold wines full of different bits and pieces in it anyway, so... Then for another secret ingredient, some brandy. So you want to measure out 100 millilitres. I'm not sure why we're measuring it out, we should just throw it in, but, you know, we're being precise here. So then just drizzle that in and give it a good stir around, but make sure you don't bring this to the boil. You don't want to boil it, you just want to bring it up to a good temperature of about 80 to 85 degrees. And then just ladle it into your vessel of choice, garnish with a slice of the orange, one cinnamon stick, maybe a star anise, whatever you fancy, and enjoy. But here's something extra, a beautiful spiced hot cider. Now while we're in the UK, we might as well go for the big ball of cider. It doesn't really matter if you get the cheap stuff because we're going to add so much stuff to this, it's going to make it incredible anyway. So here we have two litres of cider and 75 grams of dark brown sugar. Then we have two beautiful stem ginger balls. These are incredible, it's literally just ginger that's been boiled in a syrup and then stored and the flavour is incredible. Then we have a little bit of rosemary, some fresh nutmeg, some more juniper berries, some black peppercorns, two more cinnamon sticks, some dried apricots, three more cloves, one lemon, and two whole apples. And the extra alcohol of choice in this one is going to be some Cointreau. And the amazing secret to this one is literally get a pan, stick everything in together, including grate in the nutmeg, add in a few bits of peel from the lemon, then chop it in half and add in the juice. Slightly chop up the stem ginger as well to disperse it evenly. And simply just slice up the apples. And we're going to go with about half a cup of Cointreau. Make sure you have a taste, you know, quality check. Yep, there you go, down in one, yep, you can do it. Take it to the heat, give it a little whisk around, make sure they got that dark brown sugar all nice and dissolved inside. But again, make sure you don't boil it, you don't want to be burning off that Cointreau. And once you're done, just transfer it to your vessel of choice. This time we're going to go with a cool little glass cup. And a garnish with a slice of apple. Cinnamon stick, some juniper berries, some peppercorns, whatever you want to put in there. Top with a touch of cinnamon. And there you go, an incredibly flavorful, warm, spiced cider. These two drinks are a classic, especially if you're on cold nights outside. You want to come home, wrap yourself up in some mulled wine and some hot spice cider. So all I can say is cheers. And if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, do all that stuff. Make sure you stay safe this Christmas, have a good one, and remember to just keep cooking.